Welcome to part four of the GoPixel first time user videos. This will help you get started using GoPixel on a G2000 series profile line sensor and provide steps on how to use measurement tools on multi-layer scan data from a G5000 series LCI sensor. To get the most out of these videos, download the following files to be able to follow along. Measurement tools sample exercise two, multi-layer scan data from G5000 sensors. This section demonstrates how to separate the multiple layers of scan data using the Array Index tool if you are inspecting layered scan data from a line confocal imager or LCI sensor. You must use this measurement tool as a first step before adding other measurement tools if you have set your layer count to more than one during acquisition. The example file was acquired using a G5512 LCI sensor and photon stage. First. Open your GoPixel Manager from the Windows Apps menu if GoPixel is not already running. Highlight the GoPixel instance currently running by clicking on it, then click Launch. Upload GoPixel G5512 Smartphone Camera .gprec file. Save or discard changes before loading. Your replay toggle will automatically turn on. Switch to Perspective View in the Data Viewer menu. Orbit the rendered image to see the underside. You will be able to see the camera lens and LED bulb under the scratched protective glass. This recorded surface scan has four layers. To view each individual layer, open the Displayed Outputs panel below the Data Viewer by clicking on the title bar. Select the Layered Top Surface All drop-down menu to the far right and select Layer 1 to see that single layer. Now let's go back to viewing all layers. Add the Surface Bounding Box tool. Navigate to the Tools page Hover over the Tools menu on the far left of the screen to expand the tool so you can view the tool names, or click the arrow at the top to lock the menu open. Use the search function at the top of the Tools column to find the Surface Bounding Box tool more efficiently. Click on the search function and input Bounding. Drag and drop the Surface Bounding Box tool to the column on the right or double click to place the tool under the GoCater Zero tool panel. Note that the Surface Bounding Box tool encapsulates all layers of the scan, regardless of which layer you choose to view in the displayed outputs. In the Outputs section, enable Width, Length, and Height measurement outputs by checking the boxes. Before being able to measure an isolated layer, we must add the Array Index tool. So let's add that now. Drag and drop the Array Index tool from the column to the right. Place the tool between GoKeter 0 and Surface Bounding Box 1. The Array Index input will automatically connect to GoKeter 0. This will only happen if you have placed the Array Index tool in between GoCater 0 and the Bounding Box tool. Expand the Array Index and Surface Bounding Box tool panels by clicking on the double arrow in the top right corner. Drag and drop the Surface Bounding Box input to the Array Index Uniform Surface output. This will disconnect the bounding box input from the surface scan to now feed from the array index. Next, let's isolate a single layer of rendered surface data from a multi-layered scan. Let's highlight the array index tool by clicking on the tool panel. In the tools configuration menu, open the parameters section. In the index, input one. We can view the isolated layer by clicking on the Uniform Surface Output in the Array Index toolbox.
Using the index input, we will isolate one of the layers captured in the multi-layer surface scan. For this exercise, we are focusing on layer one. Now, let's measure the isolated single layer from the array index tool. Go back to the surface bounding box tool. Note how the surface bounding box highlighted region of interest has shrunk to only measure the selected layer one. Turn on region of interest by checking the enable box under regions in the parameter section. Resize the region of interest to measure the LED. In the outputs panel, ensure that you have width, length, and height measurements turned on by ensuring the boxes are checked next to the measurements. Now, let's set up a pass-fail output for the length measurement of the LED. In the outputs panel, open the length drop-down menu. Set the minimum tolerance to four millimeters. Set the maximum tolerance to 4.1 millimeters. Note that the length measurement has now turned green with a check next to it. This means the measurement is within tolerance. Control page, enable GoKeter outputs. To output your measurements and scan data downstream through the GoKeter protocol, follow these steps. Note that the default setting for GoPixel is to not have outputs enabled. Under the control category, click on the GoKeter page. Turn on Enable Service by clicking the toggle. In the Data to Send panel below, open the Source drop-down menu. Scroll down to select the desired measurement or data to be output. In this example, let's enable the Surface Bounding Box 1 length measurement we have previously set up. The selected measurement or data and their output ID number will be listed in the ID column to the right. You can adjust the ID number for each measurement as desired. For further assistance, please contact support at lmi3d.com. Thank you for watching.